Yeah, that was my theme music. I make my own theme music. And we are back at it again with another toy review. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And today we have a special guest. Mr. Ghost Rider himself. And this right here, ladies and gents, ladies and gentiles, uh, is the Marvel Select Ghost Rider. Uh, in my opinion, um, this right here, this baby right here, is probably one of the best Ghost Riders ever made. Some of you may disagree with me. Um, but what what's going to make this figure really, really awesome is what I'm going to show you later on in the video. Um, I did a review of this, we'll call Thing, this Thing, um, what was it, probably uh, several weeks ago. And I thought Ghost Rider would look really, really, really cool on it. Um, and we're going to see how it looks. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. Um... And, uh, you know, we were talking about, oh, oh, in that video, we were discussing Ghost Rider and his thing. Okay, I'll just say, his motorcycle. And, uh, uh, and from the Marvel Legends uh, 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 two-pack with him and the motorcycle. Um, but this, this is something, this is going to be a little something special. Because this, we're not only going to be looking at the Ghost Rider, uh, and this is from 2017, believe it or not. I don't know why I always found, uh, seem to find this uh, action figure older than what it really is. But yeah, it is from 2017. It's hard to believe. You know, it feels older than that. I swear it's older than that. On the back it says 2017. Maybe this is when this toy was manufactured. Um... But it says 2017. Why would they put 2017 if it's not a 2017 figure, you know? I could be wrong, but that's what I'm going to call the video. <laughs> Anyways, 2017 uh, Marvel Select Ghost Rider with a little extra twist. Extra twist. And here are some of the figures from Marvel Select. This is my uh, air air quotes. That's that's what you're looking at. My air quotes. I was trying to think when I was looking at these pictures. I was, I was trying to think. What do you what do you call these? They're called air quotes. But anyways, that's later on in the video. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this uh, review right here. Um, yeah, here are some of the figures: Nightcrawler and Venom from Marvel Select. Of course, here's the side of the box of Ghost Rider. And this right here, uh, some of the flames um, coming up, trying to grab him. Which, you know what? It, it looks good, but I don't think I'm going to display Ghost Rider like that. It depends It depends on how the end of the video ends up. How good he l looks on this thing I'm going to show you guys uh, towards the end of the video. Which will be a little surprise for you guys and this will make this video a little bit more interesting so we'll see how he looks on standing on this or staying uh, sitting or possibly sitting on something else right right you guys are you guys with me now no no yes okay um so what we're gonna do is uh let me find my scissors um uh, i'm gonna get my i got my scissors right here my trusty scissors these heavy-duty scissors are for those pesky little Marble Select twisty ties. So I can cut that baby open and get to it uh, much quicker. So without any further ado, I'm already four minutes into this video and I'm already rambling on. So we're going to put the camera down right here. And we're going to pop this baby open. Because I really am really, really, really anxious to get to this Ghost Rider. He looks really, really, really awesome. So we'll pop this guy open right here. And he pops open very, very easily. Thank, thank the Lord. Or thank the demons. Uh, 
thank the demons of Ghost Rider. So we'll pop him out, put the box to the side for now. Uh, let's see, how many twisty ties has he got? I don't really I don't know. Looks like he's got... He's got a few, huh? Okay. But these don't look like twisty ties. They're just kind of in there to keep them in place, I guess. Let's pop that off so they just kind of rip off easily. Hopefully it pops out easily. And it looks like he just has one little twisty tie in the back. And I'm not going to bother on twisting that baby. I'm just going to cut this baby open. Ugh. There we go. And hopefully he will pop out very easily. Okay, there's his stand. And his stand is very heavy. Wow. Let's see. Let's pop him out. Oh, he's got twisty ties here at the arms. Not so much twisty ties, they're just kind of ugh, there to keep them in. So there's, it's good that he's not, he doesn't have twisty ties. And there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. There is Ghost Rider. And he is pretty awesome. Um, not much articulation with this guy, I can already tell by looking at him, but you know what, I don't even care. I actually like my action figures like this. This this guy kind of reminds me of the uh, old school Toy Biz action figure. He's very heavy, very sturdy. And, yeah, I love the face sculpt on this guy. He is awesome. I love the suit. I love the blue suit. I prefer the blue over the black suit. It just shows how cool and how awesome he is. And he is just straight badass. His arms do extend out, which that's pretty awesome. He's going to need those arms for what I'm about to show you guys. Hopefully this goes as planned as I, as I hope it will go. But there he goes. Uh, he has waist swivel here. Knee bend. Uh, he's got a uh, bend at the ankles. His legs do lift up, which that's a good thing. And there he goes. I, I like the simple articulation on this Ghost Rider. I'm not going to lie. The more simplistic, the better. And he... The body sculpt on this is just, in my opinion, I think it's pretty flawless. Yeah, he is pretty cool. I love the face sculpt. The orange, the kind of yellowish nose, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't really particularly care for the yellow nose. Maybe I might paint that orange. Not for sure yet. But the skull, the flames on it are beautifully done. The back, the boots are really cool. Simple, you know, I wish they had a little bit more detail on it, but I guess simple is always better. They were going kind of for the original look of Ghost Rider, so I didn't expect them to give them much detail, especially some of the boots. The riding boots that are out today are just, man, they got straps, they got buckles, they got zippers. <laughs> There he goes, and he is a solid, solid figure. That's one thing I love about these Marvel Select figures is that they are solid. You know, they are freaking solid. Especially the bigger uh, figures like Juggernaut and uh, Abomination. They are heavy, heavy, solid figures. They're like concrete, and they're as heavy as concrete also. So let me put him to the side, and I'm going to show you guys the base. The base is pretty awesome. The hands that are coming out of this base are just on a whole, whole nother level. And speaking of level, I mean the lower level. Get it? I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. But yeah, this is a pretty cool base. I don't know, let me see. I don't know if I want Ghost Rider standing on it. I mean, let's take a look at him standing on it. I'm not gonna give him a pose on there. I guess the pegs, I'll just give him the stand just for the moment. See how he looks on that. I mean, he doesn't look bad. You know, the flames kind of match his head. Not bad, you know. 
I'm gonna later on after I show you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to. Uh, may, I may. I might put a spawn figure on that base. But let me put the camera down. I'll see how a spawn figure looks on that base in a little bit. Whoops. And I'm gonna put this to the side. And I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna bring in this baby. Look at that. Now, if some of you guys may remember, this right here, this chopper, was uh, from one of my videos that I did, uh, a review that I did of uh, uh, of this. Uh, I was telling the story. If you guys haven't watched this, uh, watch the review on this chopper right here. This is the Violator chopper. This is from uh, McFarlane Toys. This is uh, from Spawn. Okay. Now, when I did this review uh, of this, this was pretty pretty awesome. If you guys haven't watched that review, check it out. And there's a really good story behind this chopper right here. And when I when I was saying in the video when I was doing a review for this chopper for the Violator chopper, is that Ghost Rider would look really 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 awesome on this thing. So what we're going to do, what we're going to attempt, this is the first ever, this is kind of a crossover right here, what we're doing. Uh, this is the first attempt. Uh, we're going to get Ghost Rider on this baby, on this chopper, and see how he looks. Hopefully he fits. Hopefully it's a good si right size for him. If not, I mean, he still looks badass just standing next to it. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put his arms like this. And his arms do rotate, which that's a good, good sign. So we're going to bend his legs. And we're going to sit Ghost Rider on this baby. And he can't really reach uh, the pedals. Maybe, maybe because I got these on the wrong way. Maybe I do. Maybe he goes this way. Let's see. Maybe, yeah, maybe he goes like that. So I'll put him like this. Or maybe like that. No, it still doesn't fit. It still wouldn't fit. Yeah, they go like this. You can't really reach the handlebars, but I'm going to see if I can. This is an experiment that's taking place right now as we speak. Yeah, his arms don't really reach. But you know what? Let me see. I'll just put him on the motorcycle. I'll find a way for these hand for his arms to reach the handlebars, but I wanted to show you this right here because this this right here, this violator chopper came with a violator. If you guys are familiar with Spawn, then you know what I'm talking about. But this right here, I think Ghost Rider, this is his motorcycle right here. I mean, he fits perfectly on this. Uh, what I need to do is get some flame effects. Uh, for this chopper, but this right here This Ladies and gentlemen is what Ghost Rider should be on this demon bike from hell um, I'm gonna give you a glimpse of this motorcycle of this chopper being that if you guys didn't see uh, my last uh, review of uh, Of this bike, please check it out and and how and like I said, it has a really really cool story behind this bike. Uh, how I found it, how I discovered it, and it actually was the first ever YouTube review of this chopper. So nobody else has ever done a review of this chopper, of this Violator chopper. I was actually one of the first to do it. But Ghost Rider, regardless of not <laughs> if he can't touch the handlebars. He looks amazing on it. He doesn't even need to hold the handlebars. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that right there... Let me back out. That right there is amazing. And we were talking about earlier in the video about the Marvel Legends uh, Ghost Rider and his motorcycle. This just blows that crap out of the water. This is right here. This is all solid. This is not cheap, cheap, you know, hollow plastic. This, 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 this bike weighs a freaking ton. This bike is really, really heavy. And Ghost Rider goes amazingly on this bike. 
look at that. And Ghost Rider is heavy too. That's why I love the Marvel Select because he's a little bit bigger and he's a little bit sturdier. And he just looks amazing on this freaking thing. I am going, definitely going to take some pictures of Ghost Rider on this amazing bike. If there was ever a motorcycle, a chopper made for Ghost Rider, it's this thing right here. Doesn't he look amazing on this thing? Wow. It's going to be really fun to take some pictures and, and post them on Instagram. But yeah, he looks really, really, really amazing. If you guys, like I said, if you guys haven't seen this review of this chopper, uh, please, please check out my review of the Violator Chopper. <laughs> Look how badass he looks on this thing. Let's see the skulls, the teeth, and everything. The monstrous face. One thing I said in the previous video, I said, this, this, this figure right here... This demon, he doesn't really go with anything. I mean, you can't even tell he's from a Spawn uh, comic book. And that's why he goes so well with Ghost Rider. Is that you, when you look at him, you don't think Spawn. I mean, you put Ghost Rider on this chopper and it becomes Ghost Rider's chopper. You can see all the guts right there on the tires. And here's like the vertebrae at the back and the horns right here. And if you flip it upside down, those are actual heavy rubber wheels. These are rubber wheels, and there are uh, like skeleton bones inside it for spokes. And I paid uh, 25 bucks for this chopper. And this is no longer Violator's chopper. This is Ghost Rider's chopper right here. I mean, he is just total badass. Look at that. I mean, look at that. He doesn't even need... He doesn't even need to hold the handlebars. I mean, he just makes this chopper uh, his just by sitting on it. <laughs> look how badass that looks. I am really, really, really satisfied. Like I said, guys, if you guys didn't check out this review... Of the Violator Chopper, please check it out. Even if you are not Spawn fans, this right here, this Violator Chopper, is just a work of art. And Ghost Rider, he just looks amazing on this thing. I, I can't keep saying myself. I'm like, I'm like a giddy little schoolgirl, a giddy little schoolgirl that desperately wants to make love to you. That's from Dumb and Dumber, in case you don't know. <laughs> um, right here, here's the. Uh, the uh uh the base for this and i brought out let me take this guy off the base hold on one minute i'll let you guys look at that and here is uh one of the, my spawn figures that i reviewed this is the movie spawn and yeah and i think if you put spawn on this base hold on let me get a there you go yeah if you put spawn on this base he actually looks better than ghost rider does if you put him on this base he actually makes a lot more sense. And I have other better Spawn figures. I did a review of this Spawn too. You guys check it out. I really didn't give him a good review because of that face. That face is just ugly. i said it many times. <laughs> but overall, I mean, he's not a bad looking Spawn. And I do have other uh, cool Spawn figures that I'll probably put on this base. But I just wanted to show you that this base actually looks better with the Spawn figure than Ghost Rider. Actually, you know, Ghost Rider probably looked good on the base as well. If I find a better spawn figure, I'm definitely going to put him on this base because Ghost Rider belongs on this chopper. This is his chopper now. There you go, guys. There is Ghost Rider. I'm already at the 19-minute mark. I already spent 19 minutes drooling over this shit. On a scale of 1 to 10 with Ghost Rider, this Ghost Rider figure, I'm going to give him 9 and a half, 10 with this whole complete right here it's a whole uh, with, the, with him with on the chopper it's a freaking 10 man if i can give it higher a higher rating i would but yeah this right here is one of a kind one of a kind ghost rider will never have a cool looking chopper like this ever <laughs> i just made him the happiest little ghost rider there is he is truly badass this already, this already is one of my favorite videos, folks. You know, if you like this video as much as I do, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to leave a comment of how awesome this looks, how amazing this looks, please 
leave a comment. Subscribe to this video to see more cool, awesome shit like this. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I'll be posting some pictures of this guy. Instagram, Facebook, uh, Flipagram, and of course here at YouTube. I just want to thank, uh, thank you guys. Thank everybody for watching and checking out this uh, video. Uh, something that you'll seldom see is a uh, ghost rider on a violator chopper. If you think you've seen it all, think again. There you go, folks. There's my review of the Marvel, Marvel Select Ghost Rider on the Violator Chopper. Boom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.